like Bjorn said, my name is Alex, and I'll be talking to you about how we change the UI of more than 10 million devices with just one click. But before I tell you how we do it, I probably will tell you why we do that. So why did we have to do it to begin with? Well, our product owners gave us a task. Build a solution that will fulfill a certain set of requirements. Those were, it has to be a white-labeled VOD application, which means we have to support video content. It had to connect to a variety of different video backends, and trust me, there are a lot of those out there. In addition, it had to be fully configurable, and that included the structure of the content and also the look and feel. And we had to do that from one place. And naturally, we had to support the editorial content as well. So that sounds kind of easy, but let's look at the amount of devices we work with on a daily basis. So it starts with smartphones. Everybody knows those brands, so nothing special. But then we have connected TVs as well. Samsung, LG, and so on and so forth. Then we add unmanaged devices. Things like Apple TV, Chromecast, game consoles. And to make things even more interesting, we have a lot of different managed devices, such as set boxes, TiVo boxes, and so on and so forth. There are lots of them. I couldn't even fit them into this slide. So we look kind of like this on a daily basis. So why was that a problem for us? Well, to begin with, these devices don't actually have a well-defined standards, which means we end up with a maintenance hell of different code bases. We could work around that to some extent, but not fully. We also had to support application lifecycle. So we had to support A-B testing, um, upgrades, forced and uh, optional ones, and even deprecation of old versions. And to make things even more complicated for us, we had a problem of manufacturers having completely different review times. So some of them had a couple of days. Others, well, we couldn't even tell you what it is because it varies too much. So how did we solve this, you may ask? Well, we took a couple of engineers, put them in a room. We gave them a problem to solve and a lot of coffee. The solution was quite interesting. We got a lot of interesting ideas from them followed by sarcasm. Luckily, we actually got a full end-to-end -end solution as well. And it looked something like this. But this is just a picture. So together with my uh, colleague Niklas here, I'm going to show you how it looks like. For that, we will have to use this TV here. So here we have our iOS app. It's running on the iPad that Nicholas is controlling. We can see a VOD catalog. So we have a list of blockbusters, some staff picks, a couple of menus there, and so on. And oh, Star Wars. Love Star Wars. So um, let's do a change here of the content. Let's promote Star Wars, because it's coming out soon. So if we can switch to AppGrid, and this is our configuration tool, so something we build as part of the solution as well, we can uh, move up the uh, Star Wars down here and put it at the top. After republishing, our device will directly get the new uh, structure content. There we go. So. Star Wars at the top, and the rest is like it was before. That was quite an easy use case. What about we do something a little bit better? I did mention before that we had to support a full customization of look and feel. And it also had to be configured from one place, and hopefully with just one click. So to do that, let's change the whole theme of the application. That we can also do from upgrade by changing one of the profiles here, and the profiles contain the full set of configurations, fonts, colors, which start page we should use, which VOD backend we should connect to. 
So basically everything. We can simply move it up here in the list so it takes the precedence and restart our application again. So now you can see we have a completely different set of content. It's the same application still. Different look and feel, so the colors change. We activated Chromecast uh, support in this application. And, well, we have Bugs Bunny. I still prefer Star Wars, though. So, thank you, Niklas. That was for the demo, but how does it actually work in the backend? Well, the solution looks kind of like this. Uh, our clients connect to the middleware that we build, and that middleware does quite a lot of things. It connects to AppGrid, it gets all the content and configuration, it talks to the video backend that is configured for this specific application, aggregates it together, and pushes out the full set of content back to the client in a format that's specifically built for that platform. But the middleware is not really a box. It's actually a little bit more than that. It looks something like this. So it's a set of microservices that we have, and they do a lot of interesting things. Unfortunately, I'm already out of time, so I can't actually tell you in details now. But if you stay after the talk, we can discuss this in details.